today I'm going to be uh, talking about our bananas again, um, our banana plants. Uh, I know I just did a video for you guys on the dwarf Cavendish here. Um, we're about to get a flower on one of them, and uh, you know we have some other, you know, racks of bananas around the garden and around the property um, on several different varieties. Um, if you check out our other videos, we have, I think we have 19 different varieties now um, around our property, but. Uh, we have one over here. This is one of the biggest banana plants that we have on our property, right here. You can see it's huge. And uh, to be honest, I was kind of just growing this one as an ornamental. Um, I don't know what variety this is. Uh, it was already on the property when we bought it. Um, it wasn't right here. I, I moved um, a small one, probably uh, a sucker that was probably not even three feet tall here. Um, and it turned into this little patch. Um, like I said, I was kind of just growing this as an ornamental. Uh, if you if you check out our other videos, I'm I'm kind of a firm believer of removing some of these uh, these pups or suckers um, from the mother plant. Uh, I, I think that it helps us to get fruit faster. Um, you can comment below if you think I'm wrong, but uh, I didn't remove any of these because I was just growing this clump as a just just for looks really and. Um, this whole clump, this huge plant right here and all the suckers, um, you know, like I said, it started as one plant, not even three feet tall. And these haven't, it, hadn't, it hadn't even been in the ground for six months. And this is what we have now. And uh, we came out here last night and noticed we even have a flower up here. So, I mean, we went in six months from a two foot plant to a, you know, a whole little group of banana plants. And, and one is about to give us fruit. And, um, you know, I just, we've grown a lot of bananas and usually it doesn't happen that fast. And, you know, I was kind of picking around here, just looking at them, um, cause I was amazed really that we were about to get a flower up here. And I noticed that I've, and I wasn't doing this on purpose, but this is the yard where we let our dogs run around and go to the bathroom. And I've been scooping their poop and sticking it in this pot right here. I know it's kind of gross. No one really wants to see that, but, uh, and the pot used to be sitting out here, but I moved it in here because I just didn't want to look at it and I kind of forgot about it. And, um, you know, it gets rained on and it's not, you know, it's not under cover or anything, but I, I'm starting to become convinced that uh, the, ba the bananas are benefiting from that pot of dog poop right there. Because, I mean, we've just never had a banana plant go from a, you know, a teeny tiny sucker to a flowering uh, plant in six months. This was a real fast progression. Um, and, you know, this is a good spot for them too. Um, you know, they get a lot of sun and it, they have a lot of room to grow, but um, I just, I'm convinced that maybe the dog poop ha has helped them. And, you know, conventional gardening wisdom would state that dog poop is, you know, dogs have a high protein diet and dog poop can be uh, pretty acidic. And almost nobody uses dog poop for, you know, fertilizing in their garden or anything, or even composting. Um, we never have in the past uh, with vegetable gardens or anything like that. We always just scoop the poop and throw it in the woods or do whatever. But, uh, I mean, I, I, I'm starting to become convinced that these bananas are benefiting from this uh, pot of dog poop right here. I just wanted to share that with everybody. I don't know if anybody else has any similar experiences. Um, you know, or, or similar observations, but um, I, I I think I'm going to leave the pot of dog poop there and uh, see if these don't just continue to thrive. Because, I mean, this is just such a fast progression uh, for this little clump of banana plants here. So, um, anyways, y'all, I uh, you know maybe uh, post in the comment section below if you have any experience using dog poop to fertilize your bananas, um, negative or positive, you know, feel free to school me, uh, you know, if you, if you have some better advice than, than what I've given here, but uh, like I said, I'm just going off of observation here. I, we, like I said, we don't use dog poop to fertilize anything else or anything, really. Um, I was just scooping it to throw it away and kind of forgot about the pot right there, so... Uh, like I said, guys, if, if you have any other information or, or any thoughts on it, uh, please let me know. Until next time, everybody out there, take care.